New Gala. All right, guys, so we're just a little bit further along here. Um, not too much, though. So you'll notice uh, I spent it to maybe like one or two stars or something, but it's not too big of a deal. Uh, we're basically still right where we were, and we have the Titan uh, the Titan situ uh, situation being researched uh, on Sirius Prime. It's like the Titanic life where all, all the plants and animals and everything on there are huge compared to uh, what is normally seen as, as normal, whatever normal could be considered as... Uh, normal like flora and fauna uh, across the universe but you know Sirius Prime has bigger bigger than normal they're Titanic and that's pretty much the situation you get a good you get a good buff for researching it but uh, it comes at a cost and, and you'll see what that cost is uh, so right now I'm basically just taking um, I'm pretty much just taking some of uh, the easiest the easiest stars around here to take I'm trying to expand more I discover another civilization up there to the north the, the ether uh, the ether, whatever, whatever they're called, um, they're they're right to the north next to the other people. So they're another um, they're another civilization that's kind of blocking the way. And later on, I also believe they block uh, direct the direct path. They had the, they block the direct path to the east. Like I expand a bit more uh, to the south. I claim the Impal Tov and the With Really Star. I believe I claim Rabinok, Intham. Uh, I claim some of the southern stars, but to the east. Um, that Ethier nation, I believe they start to expand down there and they block that. So, of course, I'm going to have to kill them off too so I can keep moving and growing and stuff. Yeah, yeah, Ethier Kingdom, yeah, and the Garian Kingdom. Yeah, the, the Ethier Kingdom, um, they eventually start to block uh, that eastern section. But uh, for now, they're not. And all I'm doing right now is I'm just expanding and I'm just trying to uh, find more planets to colonize. So then I see this planet, um, Zeta, uh, Zeta Reticuli uh, 2. And I decide, um, I decide to colonize it, but first I have like an update from, uh, first I have an update from that little, uh, that, uh, that event, but I go right back to trying to manage my resources and I just let the game say pause here because it just, it's too many, I'm, I'm just like, I just, I want to get it colonized, that's what I'm like, so I don't want to have to deal with, um, I don't want to have to deal with that, so I just, um, I just put let, let it stay paused for a minute while I'm doing that. Then once I have it colonized, I click through, I click through it really quick, and I'm just looking around. Um, I have a a hostile fleet there, so I decide to try to go around it and just leave that there for now. I don't really I don't really like um, I don't really like moving my fleet so far to deal with those when they're farther away. And you see, this is the uh, this is the consequence. So I forgot about this event. What happens is um, if you don't have an army ready, or if you don't have a ground army ready. Um, the, the Titanic life will start to attack. Uh, will start to attack. Uh, you know your your cities and your people that live on the planet that you're researching it on, because you're trying to wipe them out. They they start to attack you back, and I forgot about that. So I have basically, you're gonna see. I have to make an army. Uh, I have to make an army to get rid of that. So they, they take over the planet, which is stupid. It's it's silly that I that I let that happen, but it's whatever. Uh, luckily, you know they're not like. Uh, they're not like a foreign alien empire. They won't like start trying to like. They won't just suddenly like 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 appear a fleet into existence. Like just oh here's a fleet that wasn't there before. They they won't create a fleet out of nothing and start to try to conquer your nearby stars. That's not what happens. They just take the planet and it's just gonna sit there until you take it back. So it's it's not too big of a deal. Um, I've had this happen to me a couple times where I forget about that stupid event and then I have to take the plan. I have to take the planet back, but. Luckily, like I said, it, it, they just sit there, you know, you just have like these little people and they, they, and it's funny, your population even keeps growing as well. Like see right there, I just had, I just grew a pop, like your population keeps growing as well. Like n nothing really bad happens. It's just, you can't, I don't think you can really like expand the colony anymore or do anything else of importance like building or anything like that until you take the planet back. So it, it's like a minor annoyance because it, it's not too big of a deal. There's no, there's no huge, uh, permanent, you know, permanent negative, um, and so you see, you know, I'm starting to have a bigger, uh, a bigger negative energy problem there, and my I still have negative consumer goods. It's like a pain. Um, this is a problem for me, like throughout the rest of the early game, until I manage to finally stabilize it. Uh, and so you see, the maps, the maps starting to be, uh, the maps starting to get a little bit more filled up here. I zoom out so uh, to look at it for a second. The map's starting to get a little bit more filled up here, and. I'm noticing how many stars uh, are already taken, so I'm like, okay, you know, I'm not gonna get to expand much more before I'm gonna have to just start killing people uh, to take planets and take uh, take territory and stuff like that. And so I start to keep, I start to queue up like a bunch more armies because um, 
I want to be able to completely destroy, uh, completely destroy the Titans. Yeah, and then it comes to this, uh, to that event, the tree event, and that's another event. I only have at this point, I only have an army of of, of like five or six hundred power or, or something like that or whatever. I forget, I forget how big my fleet is, but it's it's not that big. Um, and I think I even check it here in a second. Um, it's not that big, and um, there, there there there's uh, there's no really there's not not really a point to just order my fleet across the map uh, to deal with that. So I just let that be. I let my scientists go around it or whatever. He jumps off, and I just let him sit there for a minute. I'm kind of just ordering this other scientist around here to try to go explore these uh, these eastern stars to the other, to the other side, and going through a couple you know a couple routine uh, events and anomalies and stuff like that. And see, I finally start to build. Whenever I get the chance, I finally start to build uh, civilian industries. Um, but it's just really slow going when it co when it comes to fixing that problem. When when you get in like a deficit like that, depend. I mean, it depends on what kind of deficit it is, but. In Solaris, generally, when you get in, de uh, in a deficit like that, it can be kind of hard to um, to get out of it. Which I, I mean, that's a pain. But you know, what are you gonna do? Um, so you see right here, I just keep recruiting because, like I said, I don't want to deal with this. And I also know that I am going to eventually use this army when I declare war on the uh, on the nation to the south of me. So there's not really um, a horrible loss to building it now, besides the fact that I spend the minerals now and I get. A fairly noticeable uh, energy decrease from building the armies I, I do know that part is and keeping them around you know I do know that I'm, I am aware of that um, but I just figured like I said I'm gonna use them and there's not really uh, I'm gonna use them to get rid of the Titans and I'm gonna use them to declare war so that's what I'm doing and right there you can see Gal Galathor's Armada yeah it's only like 900 something and I did not want to have that thing run across all those stars for like a whole year and then possibly have the ships die and have to remake a fleet to kill off the last of it and i just i didn't feel like dealing with any of that so i just let that tree of life thing i let that whole scenario just sit there i didn't feel like dealing with it i was more focused on getting my planet back and continuing to build up that was just like a minor thing so i just let that sit and right there i finished this archaeological site yeah here third chimes to charm yeah Former Bowel Colony Investigation 3. So then finally have a third planet. So I go, you go to this planet. Um, so I take my scientists here. And I go to the planet. And you guys will see what ends with that one. That's probably one of the coolest parts from the Ancient Relics DLC so far. Is that event chain. I really like that event chain. It has a cool ending that you guys are about to see here in a second. Um, I like the benefit that you get from that event chain. And I also like uh, the overall story from it. It, feel, it feels very true to like uh, Solaris' sci-fi roots. Where you're kind of like just sort of going over like this these old dead civilizations in the stars and you're finding these like abandoned planets with like abandoned cities on them and stuff that are just like shadows of what they once were and all that kind of stuff like i really enjoy that part about this game um it really helps bring it to life more you know and, and i mean i talked about that in my review but i'm just saying it again here because you know I, I feel like this dlc i feel like it's a good dlc they've had some dlcs that were not that good um arguably I think one of their I think one of their worst DLCs in my opinion. This is just my opinion. I didn't like Mega Corp that much. It's 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 fun. It adds some interesting mechanics, but I personally didn't like it that much because I don't find corporations that interesting. They don't really feel um, entertaining to play, and and I don't like their I don't like too many of their game mechanics. Um, you probably won't ever catch me playing one, but you know oh well. No, um, I, I like Ancient Relics better than Megacorp in any, uh, in, anyway. I like the mechanic they introduced a lot more than the mechanic Megacorp introduced. So right here, I just sent my armies, uh, to Sirius Prime, and, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna kill the Titans. It might take a minute, but I, I made sure to have more than enough. So, you know, it's just gonna take, it. I'm gonna lose a couple soldiers, they're gonna go through the reserves or whatever, but you see they're starting to die off, and... Really, when you when you have a war like that, once, like, the first, once the first or second soldier dies off, that, that's all it takes, um for the rest of them to just slowly get killed off and here i decide to uh i decide to queue up um yeah i just say yeah, auto explorer whatever auto explorer auto explorer whatever just queue up queue up some of this stuff and right here they're gonna finish killing them off and there you go got it killed off and then i had uh the general got a trait which is nice so then finally two percent devastation you know you know they held the planet for like two years or something but only two percent devastation this is funny but um but yeah, so I got the planet back, and you know that's all good. So I f and if you notice, fin I finally have my uh, my consumer goods stabilized now. But 
my energy is negative because of all those armies, because of my large fleets, and I have so many districts everywhere. So my my um my consumer goods are positive, but my energy is uh, is still negative. So right here, right here, I'm trying to min max it. I'm I'm, I'm I, I believe I built a couple energy energy um uh, energy districts here and there, and I'm trying to min max my amount of technicians and stuff, and yeah, I'm doing all that. So um yeah, there you go, and. This is when I start, uh, yeah, I think I even, yeah, I get a civilian industries here too, because I just, I don't want to go too far into a negative with the consumer goods, it's too much of a pain, so I just decide not to even bother with it, like, I'm not going to let it get that bad again. Um, and right here, I notice, I'm like, man, like, I, I have, like, such a low, like, fleet cap, and, like, a admir uh, an, uh, fleet cap, and, like, a, a naval cap, a naval cap, and everything, and it's just, like, Right now, I'm really, I'm really stuck in terms of that, but it starts to get better here in a little bit when I get some more tax and stuff. It, it stops being so, uh, so bad. Um, right now, though, however, I am definitely stuck, um, and I'm just trying to work around, uh, work around to see what I can, uh, what I can do. I remember here, I was like, all right, you know, what am I gonna do here? All of my, all of the surrounding. I remember thinking, I'm like, man, all the surrounding uh, nations around me are like superior. I don't have any resources at all, like hardly. I mean, I have like a couple things, but I don't have enough for it to be. You know for it to be worth it um so I, I basically just uh decided to just chill for a minute and you know figure out what my options are and just and just figure it out from there um so i i decide not to rush uh to rush about it too much because i know that if i declare war and i like lose my whole fleet or something it's going to be bad because not only can they come back and take a bunch of my territory but um, since it's a total war, you know, they don't have to stop. They could just do whatever they want. So when, when you're, when you're playing a total war save in Solaris, um, that is one thing you have to be careful of is you really have to choose your target, at least in the beginning before you're like a monster, you have to choose your first couple targets carefully. And this especially goes for if you're on higher difficulty, cause you don't want to throw any kind of advantage or make yourself weaker uh, than you need to be. And here I'm even looking at like some of the, uh, some of the ship designs. I'm like, can I buff my ship power? I'm just like, oh, man, what can I do here? I have destroyers researching, but it's gonna be a bit. And I, even after that, I still don't really have uh, that much like naval cap. Um, just don't have enough of it. So I decided to keep taking more stars because right now I can't do anything else. And and I completely slipped my mind. I mean, yes, I, I could be building I could be building star bases and stuff, and, and I could be you know making uh, making um, I can't remember the name of that building, but it's the building that increases your your naval capacity. I could be making those, but I'm I'm not making them because I'm not even thinking about it. Um, uh, I, I make a few star bases before I declare my first war uh, here later on, which you guys will see in part six. But um, right now I'm just kind of uh, I'm kind of just going with the flow. And to be fair, I don't have that many uh, allies anyway, so I'm kind of just trying to max out my fleet first before I really have to start making so many uh, naval capacity buildings and stuff like that. But yeah, for now I'm just I'm just. Uh, I'm I'm just I'm just chilling and yeah I notice here I'm like oh wait the guy's blocked off I can't I can't go any further so I'm just like well um, I guess he's stuck over there then so I just I just decide to let it sit uh, for now because I can't do anything there and then finally my Zeta uh, Reticuli Prime colonization finishes which I was happy about and then the Arca I found an archaeological site or it finished uh, the archaeological site finished or whatever I get anomaly there another archaeological site. I've kind of, I find it interesting that you find so many of them, even if they're like not in your territory or whatever. I found that kind of interesting. Um, yeah, right here. Yep, since it tells you all, no more can be, no more data can be found or whatever. So I finished that one. Um, I think the full end to that, um, the full end to to that uh, thing comes in the next part. So. Um, these next couple, yeah, this the last part and this part are fairly slow. The next two parts is where it, uh, is where it really starts to finally pick up. Uh, I get I get the ending to a few more uh, event chains and I start really preparing for war. Um, so I'm gonna let that be it for now uh, for this episode. And when I bring you guys back, I'm gonna show you the end to the little battle event chain, and I'm gonna finally start uh, really prepping and building up for my first war with the Raltek sovereignty. I'm gonna let that be it for now. I'll see you guys later in the next part. See you later. Thank you.